Hey lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Mass Effect 2. Oh god, I need my barrier ability! You'd let me <gasps> I'm gonna be so pissed if Tally doesn't come back with us. So pissed. I will never forgive you, Bioware. People really Okay guys, so I'm gonna try something a little different with my mic today. Let me know if you like it better or worse. I'm worried I'm gonna be too loud, but I like the sound quality of the mic better when it's closer to my face, which makes sense. But normally I don't like to have it in camera, so I have it way down here. But the couple times where I've jokingly moved it up to talk in it or whisper in it very angrily, I like how it sounds better. So we're gonna try having the microphone in the picture for a little while. I'm not sure I'm gonna like that. It's gonna be hard to get a thumbnail because I take actual screenshots from my videos. And you guys are like, Tegan, we do not give a shit about this. Why are you telling us this? Because I want your feedback. I want your input. Let me know. Let me know. And ignore the thumbnails when they have a giant microphone in there. Anyways. Let's go. <laughs> the elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Uh. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. So, did they find something? <laughs> Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Like what, Mike? That's exactly what I was gonna ask. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. Huh. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. You know, maybe I was wrong about this elusive man. <sighs> Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. All right. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Damn! Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Okay. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Damn. Not often a great start with Miranda. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? I think I do, Jacob. That might be silly of me, because I literally just met you, but I think I do. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. What's that? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent Starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Oh. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. So, kind of like what we are, just for the Alliance and not the Council. <laughs> 
Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. I can appreciate why that would be enticing, but I can also appreciate why that's very dangerous. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. What are you guys doing? Can I go snoop in there? Nope. Let's do this thing. Wait, I didn't level up, oops. Oh, this is kind of cool. I thought I could click on these and I was like, why is nothing working? Import bonuses. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. I like the little mission summary too. Shepard escaped attack on the facility along with operatives Taylor and Lawson. Facility destroyed by remote detonation. Salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data survived. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. Oh, so this is from the elusive man's perspective too. <gasps> That's interesting. I don't know if I'll ever really use a grenade launcher. <laughs> 9,000 credits. Cool. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Do you have any orders? Well, let me ask you some questions first. <laughs> what did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. Damn. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. All right. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Well, to be fair, you said you weren't there first, so maybe there was somebody, but the, the government took them so that their story wouldn't get out and cause fear and panic. Who knows? Oh, my suit looks so good. So good. Oh, also, I am recording this before um, part one posted. So if you guys gave me tips, as usual, sorry. <laughs> I will implement them when I can. But luckily, a lot of you guys gave me some starter tips at the end of Mass Effect 1. Can I get a gun that's like not a pistol or a rocket launcher? <laughs> Can I get my Looks shoddy like bag? Just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. This music's creepy. I didn't realize how much I relied on the freaking minimap with the red dots in the last game, but now that I don't have it, I'm like, oh, strange. The enemies, no bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Listen, the ghost town is creepy enough without the creepy music, okay? Wait, 
equipped. You hear that? Sounds like Fenris mechs. Strange. The security systems were disabled in the colony. I tried to press right bumper to take cover there because I was playing L.A. Noir before this. Cool, cool. Tech cool. activity. <clears throat> On target. Shoot okay. Them before they take out your shield. Let's make them use their abilities. Oh, I have that charge thing. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, let's use charge. No shield. Oh god. Woo! Uh oh. Uh oh, we're dead. We're dead! We're dead. Oh god. Oh god. I need my barrier ability! Oh no. Oh my god, I do have a shotgun. <gasps> Machine pistol. Oh shit. That one hit one last. There we go. They're through my shield. Why can't I crouch? Can we please take cover? Oh, I need to press A now, fuck. Oh my god. This is not going well, you guys. This is not going well. <laughs> These slightly different mechanics are killing me. Oh my god, and those explode. Those explode! Those mechs should have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Um. Well, that was ugly. Oh, missed that. That was real ugly. Oh, that's nice. Give me those bullets. God, you guys, why did people hate the, the heat sink? Who wants bullets? I don't want bullets. I want unlimited ammo. You just gotta be smart with how you shoot. Short bursts, people, short bursts. Then it's not an issue. <sighs> Ruin it for everyone. <laughs> Even though I'm probably the only one who actually liked it. <sighs> I don't remember how to, how to heal. So that's good because I was uh, pressing Y. Trying to heal and that wasn't working for me. Eight points. All right. So, hones Miranda's combat skills. Weapon damage and health. Entire squad receives a combat bonus. That could be good. Rips enemies apart at the molecular level. Stops health regeneration. Effective against armor and biotic barriers. I miss that ability too. <sighs> Massive energy blasts. Overpower shields and synthetic enemies. So obviously we got to do like at least two of that. Actually, you know what? This gives a bonus to everybody, so we're gonna put the points in there that we can put in there. And let's do overload. Okay, now Jacob has pull, incendiary ammo, and Cerberus operative. Jacob's paramilitary training increases his combat effectiveness through his health and weapon damage. So I think that's probably good to do three in as well, and we'll do pull. And I have zero. Shockwave? Okay, cool. Well, I'll take it. Um, so we don't have, like, armor options to equip or anything now, right? Oh, guys, it's just, it's just different enough where it's throwing me off big time. Okay. Did it. Those aren't bad. I can see them getting tricky when there's like a lot of circles, but that's now that I know what I'm doing. It's fun. Sorry for the trash. What? By who? By who? Here we go. 
Pull you. Are we good? God, the barrier ability was so freaking good. I miss it. <laughs> My shields are trash. I was like so OP at the end of the last game. It's not fair. Stop right there. Fraza, you said you'd let me. <gasps> Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that... you're alive? I'm not gonna cry! I refuse! Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? <sighs> yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Well, I didn't have a choice. I was dead and they resurrected me. died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Also, nearly dead? Bitch, we were toast. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his Sutsio 2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. I'm gonna be so pissed if Tally doesn't come back with us. So pissed. I will never forgive you, Bioware. People really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. No, I wanna okay. hear. We work together to get to Vitor. <sighs> Miranda, what the fuck did you guys do? Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Tolly, we just Whatever got- happens, it's good to have you back. I don't want to separate. We just got together. What? <sighs> Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Um, Thanks yeah. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Jacob, I love you, but don't don't talk for me, dude. You're not Shepard. We've been spotted. By whom? There's nobody I'm here. Not. Wait, where were you? Where were you? <laughs> I did not see that. Excuse me. That bed actually kind of looks comfortable. Use overload on them. Okay. Do your thing, Miranda. Oh my god. You're done! You're done! Yeah. That reminds me of. Um... <laughs> Wait! It that, that reminds me of Nailed It! Got him. Oh my god. Are you guys see that? Oh! Shepard, wow. Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. 
They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on. We can still catch them. Okay, but... How do I... How do I heal? <laughs> it's not gonna be here. Shit. <laughs> um. I don't remember. If you guys can remind me how to heal. <laughs> That's our guns. That's our abilities. Shit, y'all. I thought it was Y, but it didn't work that one time. Maybe I just didn't press it right? Maybe I died before I could try? I don't know. want to get to veto first get your squad into cover and i'll open the loading bay doors we'll take okay, cover but... by the doors shepherd you take point send squad members to separate waypoints right take point shepherd we'll cover the door okay did i do it right Tali? My heart can't handle it if you get hurt. Ah! That's what you get for not following directions. Oh my god. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. <laughs> Good! I can barely take down the freaking drones. Let's take down a mech. Overload will take down the shield. Okay. in these, right? I have to make sure. Why does it sound like there's a freaking whale? Does that sound like a whale? Power cell containers contain what now? For he what was that? Heavy? <laughs> you cannot keep me out of this wall safe. I guess I 
Remember the wrong circles. Oops. But that's crazy that you mess up once and it locks you out permanently. Shit. We can use this. I can build upgrades. What? Iridium is used for a salt right. What? <laughs> I have so much to learn. Oh wait, don't go there yet, hold on. Oh! Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect, safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters, no swarms. Thought that no, was the no, quest no, 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 no. progression. Cool. Vitor? No Vitor, not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide, have to hide. Mechs will protect. LT to perform swarms a paragon coming. action Storm when coming. going on Storm of swarms. That's cool. Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see, but I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. What's a collector? What was that, like, freaking dead space tentacle thing? Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with oh. the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. I see what it is. Little pods that was just moving. I thought it was all one. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. They literally have swarms of bugs. That's just wonderful. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. But why? That's what I don't get. I know they're gonna tell us. I know I'm asking this, like, rhetorically. But why? What are they doing to us? I don't know if I want to know. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. Ugh. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. That sounds freaking horrible. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Maybe. I'm surprised he didn't already know this, though. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them, the monsters, the swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings, electromagnetic, dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. Agreed. It won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, 
Just let me take him. Um. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. No, no you can't. You can't freaking give me Tali just to take her away. Are you kidding me? That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it, but it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. Fucking, why? Y'all, I'm gonna have faith that this game is gonna be worth it, but let me tell you, it's doing nothing but pissing me off at this point. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. But too bad Bioware won't let me keep those friends. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it <laughs> works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. See, I told you guys you already knew. I told you you already knew. I had the feeling you knew about them already. I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. I'm honestly kind of surprised that the Elusive Man is willing to show us his face. I know he probably doesn't ever leave his little station, but still, you'd think... If he doesn't have an actual name, you'd think he'd want to keep his like whole identity secret? I don't know. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector Vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. So that's a possibility, or it's also possible that they're like just waiting on the other side. So anytime anyone goes through, they've got the more advanced technology so they could just wipe anybody out or kidnap them. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? They're definitely using them for something I'm not sure I want to know about. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. It's so weird. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. 
be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. I am so... F <laughs> Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Oh, wait, shit. I thought the Alyssa man was the Shadow Broker. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I thought they were the same person. Uh... Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Don't freaking tell me all of this. I do what about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Uh, okay, but that's actually really sweet. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. I hate this. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. <laughs> hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. to give her a name. Confirmed a source of attacks on Freedom's progress. Quarian survivor Vitor returned with Tully to the migrant fleet. We'll examine his Omni tool data for anything useful. 
We got a micro fusion array. You must recruit a head scientist to build this upgrade. Heavy weapon upgrade, 15% heavy weapon ammo capacity. The power cell technology used by heavy weapons is fairly old, but can be improved by building the core by rebuilding the core with more modern components. These improvements allow standard power cells to yield more shots per power cell and allow for total shots to be fired. We got some iridium, some money. We are up another level and we have two squad points. <laughs> it's so nice to see Joker at least. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Well, hello! Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. <laughs> Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Galaxy map. Use the galaxy map to pick new destinations for the Normandy. Private terminal. Use your private terminal to get status updates on your squad. So I wonder if I can do um, upgrade points there. Armory. Select weapons for your squad from the armory. That makes sense. <laughs> elevator. Use the elevator to access the Normandy's other decks. Oh, so are there more decks than the first Normandy? Captain's quarters, go to your personal cabin to customize your appearance. Tech lab, acquire the professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. Okay. Oh, it's nice they tell you where it is now. <laughs> In the other game, you just had to, like, search. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to start off by... Well, I guess end this video by exploring the ship, talking to everybody I can find. Um... I guess my plan would be to do all of that in this video, but if I need more time, I can start next video with it. But I want to make sure that I'm talking to everybody, I'm finding everything, I'm exploring everything before I actually like dive into the game, uh, because you guys have told me that it's super important to make sure that I talk to every everybody every time I'm on the ship, because it's more important in this game than in previous games. So I'm going to start off strong by actually doing that. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Hmm. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. 
I don't need assistance. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. We're about to have another Caden situation where I actually start romancing her. <laughs> what are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Hmm. That's actually pretty cool. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. <laughs> I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. You're very loving. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Um, <clears throat> we met, what, 60 seconds ago? I'd embrace you. What? No. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? That sounds like we're going down a romance path that I do not want. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. We can be friends. But nothing more, Kelly. Don't get it twisted. Not interested. Not interested. Might as well go talk to Joker. Yes, Shepard. Or talk to Edie. <laughs> I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an <laughs> AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. So are you spying on us? Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. I don't like the sound of that. And I also feel bad because Edie's like not intentionally, like, not that she would have a choice because, like, she's programmed, but still. It's being kept secret from her, too. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? 
He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the Damn. defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Whew. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Uh... I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? It's interesting how when something is classified, it turns red. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. <laughs> what do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. <laughs> She's gonna say that for every single one. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. I have Cerberus a block. Cerberus is organized oh. into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Huh. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. There we go. Um, okay. Let's discuss something else. Ready. But it makes sense that they would have different cells and, like, not know about any of the other ones because that way if, like, something happened and one of them got taken prisoner or was tortured or whatever, they wouldn't be able to blow in all of the elusive man's operations, just that one chunk. Which I'm sure would still be really bad, but could be much worse. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. <laughs> That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! <laughs> Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Oh. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. Mm. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. You sure died. about that? Yeah, you were such a downer. Ah, oh, Joker! I literally died! I'm allowed to be a downer! I got a lot to potentially catch up on on the codex. <laughs> Not sure if I will or how that will work yet, but... A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. So I can't even go in? What? What kind of nonsense is that? What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design, and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Huh. Okay, so that's my gun. Where do I do that? Oh, hi. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. 
I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Good. Like what? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. <laughs> I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Listen, I feel like everybody who worked on this game was a butt person, because, listen... Everybody's got really nice butts. Doesn't matter who they are, they got a nice booty. We got a bunch of butt people making this game. Oh shit. Is that Edie? Oh no, 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 no. That's our core. Got it. Got it. Okay, I don't think I can upgrade. I can just choose what guns they have. Okay, so we're not gonna mess with that then. Damn it. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Hm. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point-to-point. -point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Sure. That's all for now. Lobbying you out, Shepard. I definitely understood that. Fancy walkie-talkie, got it. <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. Oh, nice. Um, okay. We're gonna do that last, just in case it leads to something that I don't want it to lead to. I don't think it would, but you never know. Port cargo. Why Access can't I go there? This room is currently restricted. <sighs> Game, you're killing me. Let me explore my baby. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. <laughs> Shape up. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. <laughs> what kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, uh, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Can I get them? <laughs> Sounds like something we'd want updated. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's <laughs> enough for me. Oh my god, I want to remember that. Where'd you receive your training? 
Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They Fuck. discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. Oh. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. I'm gonna have some frickin' words with this council, man. Are they fucking serious right now? I did so much for them, and they're gonna do that. I should have let them burn. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Just Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made Kenneth. an offer, and here I am. That's actually really sweet! So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. They'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Oh, I do get to- Nice. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. <laughs> I like them! Well. Okay, they're my favorite so far. <laughs> this down here. Ooh, the bubbles of the ship. There's nothing down here. What? Who's sleeping down here? What? Do we have a stowaway? Uh, I think there was a door over. Yeah, okay. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. Why can't I go in there? Access to this room is currently <sighs> restricted. Edie, you're pissing me off. <laughs> Observation deck. Oh. We can't get people doors? Where? You mean to tell me someone's gonna be taking a fat jump right here and that main door just opens to whoever the hell is walking by and this poor lady's just sitting here pooping. Like what? Also, I... You know, there's no issue with people showering in one big shower area, but can we give them- They're just gonna be bumping all into each other! For real? We got this giant ass ship in this tiny ass bathroom with no doors and no room! It's unhygienic. And just rude. <laughs> oh, she's a cutie. Hello. Oh, thanks. Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. My family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Oh, what? Uh, no. <sighs> Access to life support is restricted. Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. <laughs> Edie, I'm being a snoop, okay? Oh. 
That's almost identical. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. <laughs> Real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Well, um, can I go pick up some doily somewhere? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Can we, like, get a little garden or something, maybe? Way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Shit, what was that other line I liked? Daddy, daddy... Daddy what? Daddy makers? Daddy... Daddy sacks? <laughs> Shit! What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. Damn, that's, that's a lot of responsibility. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? <laughs> I wash my hands most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. Literally. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> We're on the same page, Gardner. We're on the same page. Um, that just seems like a lot. Like, this is a big-ass ship, so you have to keep, keep all of it clean and find time to cook for all of us and do any non-essential maintenance. Like, that's, that's too much for one person. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. <laughs> Only Cerberus knows that. What are these lines? How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Hopefully not in that I order. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Can't go in here yet, but what is it? Main battery. Dr. Chakwas! Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. <laughs> I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Oops. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. 
Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. No! There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Find Brandy. Okay. Damn. Nice setup you got down here. Holy shit. That's nice. What is this? This is nothing. Okay. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. I... I don't doubt that, but also that makes me worried for how he treats other races because if it's just humanity's best interest, like I understand why you want humanity to survive and you're very passionate about it, obviously. But you might be doing some sketchy shit how can to you other be things, sure of that if other you races. So little about him. I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint and he'd be the first to admit it, but he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structures similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Who did that to you, though? You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. 
No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the right. information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Okay, now to our cabin. We get a whole deck to ourselves? <gasps> oh. I thought it was a fish tank! It's a plant tank. Oh. So these are like achievements. Oh, Liara! <laughs> Heck yeah. I don't think I really need to do that right now. All right. Team status. Jacob has one appearance. <laughs> Loyalty normal. Abilities pull, incendiary ammo. Oh, he gets barrier. I want barrier. Normal, overload, warp, and eventually slam. Okay, cool. Upgrades improve your squad member's powers, your weapons, and your ship, making mission success more likely. Acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores, or research them using a research terminal. That seems like it's probably going to be really important. Holy shit, that's a lot of messages. Okay. Wait. Ah, fuck. I hit A to open it, and it's not A to open it. Counselor Anderson, on the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Shepard. We've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You'll find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his feet. I've taken care. Oh, his feet. Thought that said his feet. Cool. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. Commander, the MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planetside Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Case and Robert Oloy are aboard the MSV Rosalie. MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctors. The MSV Rosalie was last seen near planet Ziona. Commander Shepard, our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see, the final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' family might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. I miss Admiral Hackett. Shepard, it occurred to our armor technicians that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to, co to its covert operatives. It has additional microframe functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. Overlord, Shepard, 
One of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely com compartmentalized, enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet Aite Typhon system in the Phoenix massing cluster. Please you please use care in this matter. Arc projector. Shepard! <laughs> the elusive man sent me a lot of emails already. We recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against a Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since our unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an ARC projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works, now we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operatives. Shepard. At great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief, Kasumi Goto, and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She's unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakara ward on the Citadel. There you'll find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. And put the password, silence is golden, to begin the rendezvous. From Stanwick Dobbs Baking Agent, Ascension Financial Services, Earth. Hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status, and the reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of a lot of money. Thank you for banking with the Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Are you protecting your greatest assets? We will find the best life insurance rates and coverage to fit your needs. Reply for a free quote today. Whew. All right, so I think that's everything, but let's go check the... Um Let's go check the weapons locker. No messages for you, Commander. Just to see what that one arc gun is. Okay, the arc projector. The arc projector ionizes targets with a non-visible laser to ready them for a high voltage electrical attack. As the lightning-like bolt hits its first target, a sophisticated auto-targeting system paints succeeding targets with the ionization laser, allowing the electricity to take the path of least resistance and arc between them. An entire enemy strike team can be shocked to death with a few pulls of the trigger. Yeah, I'd say we should try that. Oh, I can check my terminal here. That's nice. Let's use our points and then we'll be done for the day. Um, your charge now hits with increased force and mass effect field is retained briefly to shield you from incoming fire. I feel like if I'm going to be using this, I should upgrade it. Oh, cool. Now I can get the shockwave next. Nice. Okay. All right, guys. I am going to stop there. Um, so I think... Let's see. Today's Monday... Tuesday will be Ali Noir, Wednesday will be this one. So, I th yes, I this will post before I record again. So hopefully I'll have enough time to read through the comments from the first video and this video before I record the third. Because <laughs> um, I, I can only do recordings on Monday, Thursday, Friday. But this week's schedule is going to be weird, so shit. I don't know. I don't know. I will I will read through all of the comments. I can't guarantee that I'll have seen the comments before I record part three, but I think I got everything on the Normandy that I needed to get. A bunch of you had um, 
given me tips for like which missions are DLCs, which missions are not. Um, obviously, I need to do side missions and stuff first. But I'll look at all that mission log next video and kind of try to figure that out as I go. <laughs> Um, and I'll try to cobble together what you guys have told me so far. So hopefully that I don't miss anything like too important yet. Um, but I feel like it's okay for the first couple of videos. If I haven't seen the, the tips yet, it won't be anything like irreparable damage for the future, hopefully. Um, but I think I did pretty good at finding everything on the ship. Got a bunch of side quests from talking to people. So maybe I'll do those ones first because they probably won't be... <laughs> probably can't do those too wrong without getting tips and tricks so I'll probably do those little side missions that I picked up from our crew before anything else um, and then maybe go to the Citadel and explore the Citadel because I think one of the missions was there but I'm not sure um, so I'll have to look at that <laughs> I'll have to look at that next video obviously I'm struggling a bit with the combat my strategy in the last game I cannot use anymore because I don't have my barrier so that's very painful for me um, and I don't have my abilities <laughs> which is also very painful for me. So I'm regretting my decision still. <laughs> um, hopefully that changes as I go along, but I'm so tempted to just restart and change. I don't even know what I would change to, but I'm just so tempted. Obviously I'm having a lot of fun still, but oof. when you play the game so close together in succession, which I'm sure a lot of you have if you've played the Legendary Edition, it's just hard because I I had this beautiful strategy that worked so well for me last game and now it's just completely wiped out. And I know that always happens with sequels, but when you play the games organically as they come out, it's less noticeable because so much time has gone by. When you play it back to back, it's like, holy shit, this is so different. But your brain wants it to be the same because it feels like the same game, but it's not the same. <laughs> so it's going to take me some time to get used to, obviously, since I died already. Um, also, it's possible the combat's just trickier in this game. I don't know, but um, definitely gonna have to get used to a new strategy, a new style for this character. And I'll get used to it, and it'll be okay. But I just I miss my I miss my abilities so much, and I miss my shotgun so much. Um, and looking at the talent points makes me a little nervous that I'm not gonna be able to like upgrade things like I was able to last time. But I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed talking to the crew on the ship. Um, obviously, I like Jacob. Miranda, she seems pretty cool. I just don't really know how much I can trust her yet because she's 100% loyal to the elusive man, which is fine. But I mean, I'm not going to be like her best friend, I don't think. I'm not going to go tell her everything because I know she's going to just go email the elusive man and be like, ooh, Shepard just said, do do do. Um, but Jacob seems really cool and also just our regular crew that we were able to talk to seems really cool. Obviously the Normandy is awesome. I like that it's a little bit bigger. Um, it feels easier to navigate because it's mostly just like the hub with the elevator. Obviously there are still some places I can't go so it might get a little bit more convoluted as those open up but my biggest thing is I'm super disappointed I don't have my crew and it doesn't seem like I'm gonna get my crew and that really bothers me. <laughs> That really bothers me. And y'all were like teasing me. You're like, oh, who are you gonna romance the next? And you knew, you knew. And that's just rude, okay? This is rude. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure this new crew will be great, but I don't want them. I want the old one. I want the old one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.